Blessed Carlo Acutis, ask my intercession for youth. Hello, family, may you all be blessed by his glorious presence and be enriched by his immense graces. I was really juggling to come before the Lord and to stay in adoration. I have a family, I have a kids to take care of. And I was really in a dilemma how to juggle between my duties and to stay faithful to adoration. As I was before the Blessed Sacrament, I heard a voice. I felt inspired that it was a young saint, Blessed Carlo. However, in unbelief, I ignored the voice, and later I heard another voice that said, Please receive his testimony. It was the Holy Spirit. Immediately, I began to write, and he began, Hello, dear one. I greet you in the name of Lord Jesus. I was young when I entered into Lord's glory. I was only 15. When I died, I was in acute pain. I had to undergo many therapies to be healed, but I knew death was coming to me and wholly submitted to the Lord and gave my life to Him. This disease was a gift to Him and offered for all the mankind. I was undergoing my own struggles too. When I discovered the Eucharistic power and miracles, I devoted my life to serve the Lord by adoring Him and keep a watch over His Eucharistic presence. We are His watchers. We watch over the Lord. He derives great pleasure when we come to Him in spite of our weakness and failings and persevere through to only be with Him. Jahnavi, it is not less matter to God when we give to Him even we are weak-willed. You are weak, but His love is great. All that you endured, all you are going through, we know it. We are praying for you, interceding for you. Be faithful in adoration. You are keeping him company. All you desire him to be with him, he will give you the most treasure of your heart, his heart himself, which beats in Eucharist. Nothing is small for him, so don't be despised and come to him with all your weaknesses and your faults. He loves you and adores you too. You are apple of his high. The moment you take your eyes off him, that's when trouble starts. Don't do it. I went through same trials. Nothing was easy for me too. I was young. I had trials too. Devil tempted in various ways through boredom, pornography, masturbation thoughts, girls, obscene scenes. Still my heart burned in love for him. The more I suffered, the more my heart burned. Don't be afraid when severe trials come to you. He is unafraid, dear. Everything is in his hands. Become one with him. That's his desire for you. Be with him. Cut off the world, all worldly thoughts. Devote your time to him alone sans your duties. I did my duties too. My love for the Lord didn't hinder me. To stop doing my duties and I continue to stay in his presence as much as I can. I wrote my testimony, I urge and insist hard dwellers, to buy my autobiographical book, you will learn much. Adoration is not what you do, it's when you come to him. It's him who does it. It's your free will that you give to him and he acts in you. I went through severe trials because he was in me and I was able to overcome pain and suffering became a delight. The painful episode in my life was separation from my parents. I carried much pain to see them in pain for me, but I offered them my life and I gave them double honor after my death. Still, Lord gets the honor in my young age. He made me a saint. I am known in the world, for I am known as blessed, for I am truly blessed by the Lord, for He gave me this honor to draw young people to His presence. Yes, heart dwellers, Please ask my intercession for your children, especially youth. I am praying for them in heaven. Please entrust them to the Lord. Lord is mightily pleased with the parents who teach the ways of the Lord, but he disapproves many who are not taking time enough to teach and preach the children from the word. So please give enough time, mothers and fathers, to your children. Teach them, raise them, and take them to Mass. 
encouraged them to receive the Lord in early age. Even non-Catholics, please don't hinder your children to receive the Lord. He is greatly pleased when children receive him with reverence and honor. Please ask the priest and the pastor to teach the significance of Lord's body and blood and let your children learn its importance. When they begin to receive the Lord in early age, Lord's protection will be with them, for His body and blood is everything we require to live this life in this world, which is full of evil. My dear church, don't neglect the Lord's body. Take in faith, receive Him in love. He craves for you and long for you. The more you desire Him, the more will be in you. He is deserving all our love and attention and great devotion from us all. So please receive him and keep him company and ask the Lord to fill you. Amen. That was the end of the message of the young saint. Family, let us entrust our children to Blessed Carlo intercession. Pray for the youth. Pray for the children. And let's teach our young ones to receive the Lord in their early age. And we teach the importance of receiving um, the Lord's blood and body. May you all be blessed immensely by His presence. Amen.